Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? It's Les and his DP bringing you another episode of Around the World and Nate's Teams. And today we are in Argentina, the birthplace of the Messi, the Messiah. And to start us off with these two squad builders, we have the Premier League squad builder. In the 4-3-3 formation, to start us off, we have a star in the net. He's actually a really good uh, goalkeeper. He made some really good saves, but the only poor thing about him is his speed and he's hasn't got that kind of good reflexes. So we go to the right back position, now we have Sosa, he's... Also, not a good. He's not a good right back to have because he's really attacking, not very defensively, which is really poor. And I don't really want in a defender, but he's only right back, really good I could find. And the other centre back we have Cahiers, going for eight hundred coins. I've tried to find in some other ones, like other uh, defenders who were decent. I couldn't find any. So I've got this guy called Caruso. He's also uh, actually he turned out really well for me, uh, Caruso in the centre back. He was actually really good. I didn't think he would be that good, but this guy shone the most for me. He's best player in my squad in this squad. Is uh, Rodriguez, 81 pace, left back, which you need the pace in the left backs, as I always say. He was actually really defensive as well, and he actually was really good attacking, which I was a bit shocked at, really. Now we move on to the midfield, guys, and uh, the first one you saw was Paredes, and this other central midfielder is called Pelletri. They worked really well together, and I was really surprised, because uh, I didn't think they would be that good, these Argentinian players from the Premier League. I didn't think they would be that good. But the end of the centre mid, I think it's uh, Sirigliano or something. Uh, yeah, Sirigliano. Sorry. And he actually turned out really well as well. And I was really surprised at how this mid midfield works really well together. They were really solid. Now we move over to the right wing position. We have Aitobe, who is a 90 pace winger with 81 dribbling, 66 shot, and 53 heading, 64 passing as well. He's got 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. He was actually surprised at his weak foot. I thought it was a bit better than that in the game because I took really a shot, like, couldn't side and used his left foot. It was really surprising how actually he was actually decent as well. I didn't think it would be that good because of the, the price on him. It was actually really good. Now we move to the striker, we have Lucas Viatri, who's got a fantastic heading. Bought him for 600 coins, he was actually phenomenal at heading. Most of his goals were scored by headers, it was brilliant. And we move over to the left wing, we have Escudero, with 3 star weight foot, 3 star skill moves, 81 pace, 60 shot, 71 passing, 75 dribbling. I definitely paid too much for this guy. I scored a goal with his head and uh, his left foot, which was actually really good. But mainly this is a really low scoring team, I really won't recommend it. But hope you've enjoyed this squad builder, and I'll see you over to the international one. Let me feed your addiction Now we move on to my favourite part of this, which is the national squad builder, and I have an Argentine national team for you in a 3-5-2 formation, and this squad is just epic, it's full of, full of awesome players as well. To start us off in the net, we have Romero, he is a fantastic keeper, I didn't think he would be that good, but he was awesome, he was fantastic for me. There is also another Argentinian keeper who plays for Malaga, he has an inform, but I can't remember his name, but I decided to go for Romero because he was fantastic for me, he did really well, and he was cheap as well, so which I was like, saving a lot of money there. Now we move on to the centre-backs now. We have uh, Mascherano from Barcelona. I thought he was a CDM before, but when he played in, when I put him there, he was fantastic. I decided to make each player like, link up with a person from their league. So we move on to the other centre-back now, which is Hugo Campagnaro, a team of the season player, who is 87 rated, 78 pace, 70 dribbling, 90 defence and 88 heading. 3 star 8 foot, 2 star skill moves. Paid 98 grand for him and he has 99 uh, power, which I shove him on free kicks. Bam, they're just amazing. But sometimes I put Di Maria on as well because he's fantastic. Now we'll go to our other centre back, which is Colacini. This guy's amazing. I, one of my favourite centre backs, it has to be. Because he's so strong, he's overpowered and everything. He's brilliant. Now we'll go to the CDMs now. We have Esteban Cambiaso. And in the other centre defence mid, we have um, Zanetti as well from Inter Milan. These two guys copied 700 each, which was amazing, and they're so solid, these two, they're like, a dream. These two were like a dream. They're that good. Honestly, the shots as well. Zanetti's got an okay shot, but Cambiasso with his left foot is actually brilliant. Zanetti's got a good right foot as well. Now we move to the right mid, we have Di Maria, Angel Di Maria, who connects really well with Mascherano. I'll try to make really good, strong connections in this squad, as I said before. He was fantastic. Two-star, eight foot, four-star skill moves. Fair foot's left, so it's good, so you can cut inside with him. Six shots with the left foot, and just fantastic shots. I've got some goals for you later. A lot of goals. Now we move to the left mid position. We have another fantastic player again. Is Eden, Le sorry, Eden Vletzi. Yeah, so Ezequiel Vletzi. 93 pace, 77 shots, 74 passing, 90 dribbling. 
can't beat that. With four star eight foot and four star skill moves as a preferred foot right, that's what I love having in midfielders. It's having the opposite foot like to their position, which is fantastic. You can just cut inside and take shots. Shot after shot they went in for Lovetsy and Di Maria were fantastic. And I put uh, Pastore in centre attacking mid because I thought he made a good link with Lovetsy and he was actually fantastic. 74 pace, 77 shot, 81 passing, 85 dribbling. 3 star weight foot and 4 star skill moves. I thought he was brilliant for 800 coins. He was absolutely fantastic. I keep saying that word. I need to think of more words. But now we go to the strikers where this was a mate. I loved him. Which is Carlos Tevez. He actually um, felt like a more of a centre. He kept on dropping back to a centre mid. But he was actually he's awesome. When he, I always like run to the end of the box. Do like a fake shot and run back in. Take shots on his right foot. He was just amazing. Fantastic. He Honestly, one of my favourite strikers. And he's cheap as well now. I think he goes around 6k. The other striker who can't miss him out of the Argentinian is Sergio Aguero with 88 pace, 91 dribbling, 84 shots, 73 passing, 72 heading, 4 star with foot and 4 star skill moves. He's just unbeatable on the ball. He's honestly astonishing. He's amazing. I couldn't get Messi because I couldn't afford him, but if I got Messi, I'd put him where Tevez is. But Tevez is really good. I've fantastic player. This squad was so good. I really had so much fun with it. High scoring squad. I was winning matches like 6-0. In Division 1, it was amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these squad builders now. I hope you enjoyed these goals, and I'll see you next time in España. Nobody's gotta know I like when you're aggressive, bring it closer, I'm a go Let me take you to a dark place, freezing up your heart Wait, I'll be a little secret if you let me take control I can be your high, high I know you need a fix, come right up a little bit Come on, come on, hit my body like a drug Let me feed your addiction Let me feed your addiction